Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and today's video is an alternative to making Turkish dondurma, so the stretchy Turkish ice cream without using salep, the orchid root flower. So let's get started on this one and see where we end up. In the last video we made dondurma, which is the, the stretchy ice cream with salep, the actual orchid root flour and mastic resin. Uh, m most people don't have those to hand or even know where to get them. And if you could, don't want to pay that money for it. This stuff was apparently pretty pricey. You know, it was sent to me, thankfully. It was sent to me by one of my Patreon supporters actually. So. If you want to support the channel, I'll put a link in the description below and here is the Patreon and Ko-fi links so you can help support the channel, make sure that we can keep making these lovely ice cream videos. Anyway, this shouldn't take too long. So what we're going to do, I've got my recipe here in front of me. We're going to measure this all up and get it in the ice cream machine nice and quick. I'm going to turn this ice cream machine on so it's chilling while we're making the base because this is a no heat base as well so let's just get it going in our bowl we are going to need milk 335 grams i will put the cups measurement for each in the description For those that use cups. 335 grams of milk, 335 grams of cream. Now I found this recipe online. I will put a link, I can't remember for the life of me where, but I will put a link in the description and probably put a, a little thing on the screen here because this came from a chef in the Philippines and sugar and he ran a class about you know trying to create this 100 well, what we'll do we'll do 100 grams of sugar there's a little bit more sugar to come yet so you know being a chef you'd like to think that they know what they're doing as the internet has proved to everybody that is not always the case some professional chefs are amazing and know everything there is to know others not so much i'm not a chef i'm a bum in cookie monster lounge pants that's who i am so we've got 20 grams of sugar in here that's all of the sugar we need our low acyl gallon gum, gua gum, try and get the flavour free version if you can, doesn't really make a lot of difference, I actually can't taste gua gum in ice cream, some people can, some people can't, um, and we need a little bit of salt and then we're going to flavour this one with an extract, okay, so we don't need that, we need this, what do we need? We need to open our gallon gum. Special ingredients, not affiliated, just love their stuff. They do ship worldwide, don't know what the cost is. Still got family back in England, so they just bring it over them. We need three grams, I'm reading the recipe, so apologies if you see me looking down here. I'm reading the recipe at the same time as I'm talking to you. So we need three grams of our low acyl gallon gum. Three grams. And we also need three grams of guar gum. Now, double bag. Apparently there is a connection between guar gum and low acyl gallon gum and it only happens with these two ingredients apparently so let's 
see. There we go. Let's see if this person is right. We've made the original, the OG version. We know that turned out damn near perfect. Even if I say so myself. Don't need that. Gonna take our little whisk, mix up the sugar and the gums. Obviously, Gua gum is a cold process stabilizer, so we don't need to heat it. I have no idea about gallon gum. Let's have a look. It says it does require heating, but the original recipe did not heat. So maybe that's an important part. This might end up being part two of three. So what we're gonna do is let's get the salt while we're at it. It's a very small amount of salt. Like that. There we go. Salt. Mix that up as well. And get it all in our bowl of liquid goodness. And we are gonna whisk this for two minutes. Right, two minutes in. Our machine is ready. Let's pour this in. Churn to the same kind of texture that the original version was churned to. I did say I was going to add some extract. I forgot to put it in. Let's add it now. Literally just started. There we go. Vanilla extract, about five grams. Okay, we're kind of at the same texture consistency that we were with the last one. So we're gonna do the same thing. Bowls come straight out of the freezer. Um, I'm gonna use this. But first we're gonna decant that into here and then we're gonna whip it for two minutes. So let's go. I'm not convinced of the texture right now. This is my first time making this one. I haven't had time to try this. So we're all going through this together. If it doesn't work, or I don't think it produces the right result, then I'm gonna do it again. Whip for two minutes, or not. Try again. Get my phone. Definitely acts different. I can't whip this any longer. It's it's going to be liquid again by the time by the time it goes in the freezer. So. Let's just decant this into a container, get it in the freezer. Goo gum takes a while to... Goo gum does create stretch anyway. Let, let's not forget this. So whoever did actually create this recipe, and I'm sorry if you're watching this, I doubt you are. Goo gum creates a certain amount of stretch regardless of what else you add to it. So if after all this, it's just the effect of the goo gum that I'm gonna be very disappointed. So let's just see that it's, it's very liquid. Let's get that in a freezer. I'm gonna give it a good couple of days to harden off and then we'll come back and do the next bit. So, see you in a couple of days. It's been a couple of days. Look at all the sun coming through. This is winter. Anyway, it's been a couple of days. This has obviously gone off. Now, just to recap, it had a really strange texture. A very non-traditional ice cream recipe from a chef. You know, this is a professional chef, so. It is solid as a rock. This stuff is hard, 
So you won't be able to see this on the screen, but it's got its really weird kind of texture to it. Anyway, we're going to leave this out. Let it soften a bit. Try and get it up to the same kind of temperature, which, uh, you know, I guessed at somewhere like minus 10. Otherwise, it's not a fair comparison. So I'll come back when this is softened enough to start doing stuff to it. It's only been 10 minutes and this stuff is melting. So straight away, this just isn't a direct comparison to actual traditional Dondurma. It's... incredibly icy. Really icy. So... Part of that is likely, ugh. part of that is likely because the the person that developed this recipe obviously didn't think uh, about how the low acyl gallon gum should have been used correctly. Um, so with this whole no heat thing, that's wasted the gallon gum. Gua gum, uh, the gua gum, you can't, I mean, I can't taste it. But there's also not enough to create some of that gua stretch that it, it gives you. Uh, you could probably just scoop this normally. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can see it's very dry. You know, um, some ice creams are dry in texture and that's caused by a few reasons. Um, most notably, incorrect solids. And this is the problem that most internet ice cream recipes have, is they don't account for any of this stuff. They, they do this, they, they ball up some ice cream. Get off. And then they take their, their blog thumbnail, which I'm gonna do right now, and I will put it on the screen. And up they go with amazing Turkish vanilla ice cream without using blah, 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 blah. And from the picture, it looks good. It, lo it looks creamy. It, it looks, you know, it looks like it should taste delicious. And then you start to break it apart and it comes apart like a, I don't know how to describe it. It kind of comes apart, you know, like, like chunks of ice would in shards rather than, you know, a, a cohesive mix. And that is just down to a bad recipe. Just stop eating it. This was this was a, a, a big disappointment. You know, I expected a little bit better from a professional chef for an ice cream recipe. I have remembered where I got the recipe from. I'm not gonna put the details on this video at any stage. So I've removed them from earlier on. I'm not about to slate a random person on the internet for a bad recipe. It happens, you know. But I'm gonna develop my own version of Dondurma using methods that I have tried and tested over the years and with that in mind, I'll come back to this, which will end up being part three of homemade Turkish dondurma, but likely in a month or so. Sorry to disappoint people that were hoping for something amazing from this. I too was hoping for better results. It's crap. But hey, you win some, you lose some. Next video, we are gonna do a Patreon requested flavor um, and this is going to be kinder bueno so i'm not going to just do a standard kind of ice cream because i never do if you want to see what we do with that one 
stick around, like and subscribe if you want to support the channel. These are the Patreon and Kofi details. They're all in the description as well. And thank you for coming along on this journey with me. And I will see you next time when we make Kinder Bueno ice cream.